logic gates what's inside it it's working with animation all these things in this video let's get started logic gates are the fundamental building block for any digital circuit circuit like computers signal processing circuit digital clock and many more so all these equipments all these component the fundamental block of all these digital circuits are logic gates basically these logic gates are nothing but an electronic circuit which performs several logical operations they perform it on one or multiple inputs to generate our required output in this logic gates you can give only two types of input either it could be zero or one or you can call it low or high and depending on the logic gate you will have only two states in output either it's low or high or zero or one to understand the zeros and ones or lows and highs of digital signal here we have an example you can see here we have an input to this not gate so the voltage level typically higher than the threshold voltage is known as the highs or ones in the signal or the voltage level which is typically lower than the threshold voltage is known as the lows and zeros in the digital signal and these are the two states which can be given to the logic gates either it could be zero or it could be one if we talk practically then these logic gates are nothing but electronic circuits and they are constructed using semiconductor devices device like resistor transistor diode so combining all these devices together we can have varieties of gates we can classify these gates into main three categories so here we'll see the first classification of gate is basic gates and here we have not gate and gate and or gate these are the basic or primary gates using which we can create a universal gate different logic circuits and boolean functions and that is why we call it as a basic gates the next type of gates are universal gate they are nor gate and nand gate using this universal gates we can create any type of gates and any type of logic circuits you write any boolean expression and that expression can be converted into the combination of gates using single universal gate and that is the reason why these gates are known as universal gate the next in the category is arithmetic gates and they are xor gate and xnor gate basically these are the special type of gates or exclusive gates these x represents exclusive or and exclusive nor gate they are particularly used for the arithmetic operations whenever you want to create adder subtractor half adder full adder in all the arithmetic operations we use these gates and in upcoming video we are going to explore those things and now we are going to understand the functions of each and every gate using proper animations so stay tuned to this video till the end so first we'll start with the not gate basically this not gate is also known as the inverter gate it just inverts whatever input you give for example if we give zero as input it will give one in output instead of zero if we give one as input it will give us zero in output so it is ultimately inverting the input and that is why it is known as inverter gate or not gate now let us explore what is inside this not gate how this not gate is constructed what are the components used in this not gate okay so this is a single transistor circuit a simplified circuit for the not gate here we are giving input and we are getting output over here it's vcc and ground this is the simplified circuit not actual one but the actual works the same way as of this circuit when we give zero in input what happens here it is vcc this transistor works as a switch and because we are giving zero in input it will not turn on and whatever supply we are getting will get it in output and that is why we get one in output now instead zero what happens when we give one as input so when there is one as input the transistor works as a switch and that switch gets turned on and when the switch gets turned on the voltage we get across transistor ideally it should be zero practically it's almost 0.7 around so the voltage we are getting which is less than the threshold voltage and that is why this circuits denote is as 
0 output. So whenever the input is 1, the output would be 0. So from that understanding, this truth table is clear to everyone. And as per this truth table, we can write that the output y is nothing but the a bar. So y is equal to a bar. The next gate we are going to understand that is AND gate. Basically this AND gate performs the multiplication operation. When 0 into 0 is multiplied, the result is 0. 0 into 1 is also 0, 1 into 0 is also 0. But when we multiply 1 with 1, we get 1. So now let's jump into this AND gate and understand what is inside it and how it functions. So this AND gate is constructed using two transistors connected in series. Here both the transistor works as a switch and now we'll see when the input to both the transistor is zero, both the switch acts as open switch. So we'll not get this VCC voltage in output and that is why the output is zero. Now we'll give A as one and B as zero. So when A is one, this transistor gets turned on and we'll get this VCC up to here. But this transistor is still off, so we do not get any signal in output and that is why the output voltage is still zero. Now if we reverse this input like A0 and B1. So when A is zero, this transistor stays off and this transistor stays on, but still the result is zero. But now when both the signals are one, what happens? Both the transistor transistor 1 and transistor 2 they both get turned on and we'll get this VCC voltage in output and that is why our signal will become high or 1 and that is how this AND gate functions. As per this truth table if we observe then we can say that the output Y is the multiplication of both the inputs A and B. The next gate we are going to understand that is OR gate. OR gate is nothing but a kind of addition 0 plus 0 0, 0 plus 1 1, 1 plus 0 1 and 1 plus 1 1. So it's not pure addition but it looks somewhat like addition. So now we jump into OR gate and understand what exactly inside this gate and how it functions. So it is like two transistor connected in parallel. So when we give both the inputs as zero, what will happen? This VCC stays up to this point and it will not be reflected in output. And that is why when the both inputs are zero, the output still remains zero. But now instead of both the input zero, what happens when B is zero and A is one? So when A is one, this transistor gets turned on. And because of this, we get this VCC in output. And that is why we can have 1 in output. Now instead this, when we reverse the input, what happens? The output will become 1 because of this transistor. And now when both the inputs are 1, we still get 1 in output. So that's how this OR gate functions. So by observing this truth table, if we want to write a simplified Boolean expression, then we can write y is equal to a plus b, the addition of both the inputs. So till now we have covered all the basic gates and now we are approaching for the universal gate. In this universal gate, first we'll start with the NAND gate. This NAND gate is nothing but the combination of two basic gates, AND gate and NOT gate. We'll understand the truth table of NAND gate and understand the operation of this gate. So when we give, so here we have two inputs A, B and Y and the equivalent circuit of this AND gate is like this. Here we have two inputs A and B. The output of this AND gate will get as A into B and the final output is Y. So when we give two input, both of them are zero. The output of this NAND gate is 1. How this happens, we'll understand here. So when both the inputs to the AND gate is 0, the output is also 0. But when the input to this NOT gate is 0, the output becomes 1. And that is how you get 1 in output when both the inputs are 0. Now we'll see if A is 1 and B is 0. In this case also, we'll get 1 as output. See here. When one input is 1 and the other one is 0, the output of AND gate is 0. 
and this NOT gate will invert it and gives 1 in output. The same way when both the inputs are inverted still it remains the same 1 in output. Now what happens when both the inputs are 1? The output will become 0. How this happens? When both the inputs are 1, the AND operation is also 1 and this NOT gate will simply invert the input. So the input is 1 and the output will get is 0. So this is the first universal gate NAND gate. Now we are going to explore another universal gate and that is NOR gate. The NOR gate is made up of two basic gates OR gate and NOT gate. We will see its truth table and understand its function now. We have two inputs A and B and the output is Y. The same way inputs are A and B but the output of this OR gate is A plus B and the output of this NOT gate is Y. Now we will see the truth table. When both the input to this NOT gate is 0, the output is 1. Here both the input is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 and this NOT gate will invert it and gives us 1 in output. When one of the input is 1 and the another one is 0, what happens? The output will be 0. Here we will see one of the input is 1 and the another one is 0. So the output of OR gate is 1 and the NOT gate will invert it and gives us 0 in output. The same thing will happen when A is 0 and B is 1. So here we will have 0 in output. But what happens when both the input to this NOR gate is 1? In this case also the output would be 0. How it is like this? When both the input is 1, the output of OR gate is 1 and this will invert it and gives us 0 in output. So this is the truth table of NOR gate and that's how it functions. So in this section we have understood universal gate using its truth table and its basic constructional circuit. And in next video we are going to understand the arithmetic gates and to watch that video you must click here. There are so many animated videos on digital electronics and if you want to check that out you can refer the playlist. So see you in that video.